The next objection is, um, well, Islam is true because Jesus was a Muslim. See? So Christianity is false, your version of it, because they make the same arguments that a lot of atheists, that Mormons make, that the Jesus of faith is not the Jesus of history. Muslims, we know the real Jesus of history. In fact, he was a Muslim. How do you respond to that? Yeah, uh, it depends what angle they go through. If they're going to go to the angle of, okay, you believe in Jesus, but Jesus taught the same things as Islam, so why don't you believe Islam? You believe the teachings of Jesus, don't you? That's the easiest to deal with hmm. because they usually will give you chapter and verse. The most common is Matthew 26 and verse 39. See, if we can establish the Torah and the Gospel are inspired, then they say, okay, well, here's your Gospel then. Jesus prayed like a Muslim. Why don't you obey him? It says in Matthew 26 and verse 39 that he prayed with his head facing the ground. Now, they'll stop there, which is how you handle this objection, and say, see, Jesus prayed like a Muslim. That means that he taught Islam. No, you've pointed out one example of him modeling Muslim behavior, but when I then say, and here's the first step, Christian speaking to Christian here, they say, Jesus prayed like a Muslim. Why don't you? Jesus taught like a Muslim. Why don't you? Well, here's then the example. Matthew 26, 39. Okay, Jesus bowed with his head facing the ground. So if I were to do that right now, that would make me a Muslim, right? Then all of a sudden, what do they say? No, you can only pray five times a day at certain times of day, in certain languages, in certain ways, facing a certain direction, and in order to communicate these specific verses recited in a very specific language. And I go, Okay, where in Matthew 26, 39 did Jesus demonstrate all that? Because all you've shown is his position. And by the way, it doesn't say that he prayed towards Mecca or Jerusalem. And also, like when we're dealing with Bible contradictions, look up the verse where it says in Matthew 26, 39, he prayed with his head facing the ground saying, Father... Oops. <laughs> now, wait a minute. According to Islam in Surah 518, 1988 through 33... Or 19, 88 through 93, 26, 21, verse 26, and all of Surah 112, that Allah is a father to no one, that it is beneath him to have a son, that anyone would call him son, the heavens themselves are torn asunder. Jesus taught Islam, yet didn't teach Islam. Jesus taught contrary to Islam. Jesus taught something in fundamental conflict with Islam. And then they'll say, well, no, at that time it was okay, but now it's not. Hold on. You're making these, and this is what you need to be able to point out to them, broad and general claims. If Jesus prayed in this position, that meant that he was through and through a Muslim. Therefore, you have to come to a narrow conclusion that Jesus taught Islam. But then on the other hand, you say, okay, so if I perform broad behavior, I pray with my, fa uh, my head facing the ground, suddenly I have to then obey narrow commands. Broad doesn't prove narrow. That's a manipulation tactic. If you're going to say a very narrow conclusion, Jesus was a Muslim, you need to show me where and when specifically and entirely Jesus affirmed everything that Muhammad did without ignoring the things that he said that Muhammad directly contradicted and spoke against. If you say that's corrupted, see first problem. But if you then say, well, then I guess Jesus wasn't a Muslim, then we've dealt with the issue. But keep that in mind. Go to the actual verse. No concepts like, in this fundamental idea, Allah is not a father, yet you're quoting a verse where Jesus refers to God as his father. Why is it that when he acts like a Muslim in a very superficial way, he's 100% a Muslim? But when you actually read his words, which are 0% Muslim, suddenly that's becoming superficial until it's my turn to convert. I don't have to recite the Shahada because I'm bowing with my head facing the ground, right? They wouldn't accept that, and neither should we.